Hello students. In our previous video, we completed our exercise 6.1, and today in this video, we learn about theorem of chapter 6. It is the most important part of this chapter. These theorems, these four theorems are there in this chapter, and I am sure that hundred percent they came in four mark in your board examination. Okay, that is. But fits this four out of four theorem any of one or two, but it it is in option one or one. That is a four mark. Okay, so start with first theorem. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two side in distinct points, okay. So first three lines say that if in triangle. If a line is drawn parallel to one side, in triangle there is three sides. One of side is parallel to. If we draw one line that is a parallel to other side, and other two side in distinct points, it means it is intersect. This we draw the parallel line which intersect other two side. Prove that the other two side are divided in the same ratio. Okay, so it means if we cut out the line that is a two part of side, both the ratio are equal. Okay, that is a theorem line, or this theorem also known as basic proportionality theorem, third name, or Hill's theorem. Okay, there is a three name of this theorem. Okay, in your examination, uh, show that the basic proportionality theorem. So you have to perform this. Or so they prove that this theorem. So you have to perform this or this line. Then you have to write this theorem. Okay, there is a three name of this theorem. So first part given here in this line. What we give? So we have to write. Okay. So if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, so it means triangle is given. In triangle ABC, I have written here triangle ABC. Before we start, if in this line there is a triangle name are given, so if the triangle PQR and line L, which is parallel to PQ, then you have to write here PQR. Okay. If in question there is a triangle is mentioned, then then you have to write here those name. Okay. Here name is not given. Okay, so we take triangle ABC, a line parallel to side. We are right if a line drawn parallel to one side. Okay, so in triangle ABC there is side is AB, BC, and AC three sides. So I take BC, a line parallel to side BC, and triangle intersect other two side, other two side. Okay, so X. BC other two side intersect AB and AC F intersect the other two side in distinct points. So point is D and E respectively. It means on line AB that is point D, on AC that is point E. Okay, that is your given. Now to prove what we have to prove, the proof prove that after the proof that it is your to prove. The other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Okay, it means AB is divided on point is D, so AB upon BD or DB, and AB upon D is your C, EC sir. AB upon EC or C. Okay, then after first point given, then two two, then figure. Okay, so first of all I draw triangle ABC. Here the line draw D line L and intersect point D on AB and AC. Here I write AB and AC and D and E. So AB for D. So here D, AC for E. Okay, that is our triangle. And that is our ratio. AB upon D, AE upon EC. Okay, now. Complete this thing. Okay, first point B one, two two figure. Then after prove. Now from the figure, join B E, join B E C D. Draw D N. D N is perpendicular to B C and D N perpendicular to 
एरिया अपॉन एरिया एडी अपॉन एरिया बीटी एरिया एडी अपॉन एरिया बीटी इज इक्वल टू और एडी अपॉन डी सो वी पुट हियर एडी अपॉन डी ओके सो यू गेट व्हाट यू वांट ओके डी टू बी If you not understand directly, then you have to write in rough sign. Okay? Not we don't want to write in this theorem that is for your only understanding. Okay? How we get this thing only for understanding? Here complete our first theorem. Theorem six point six prove that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles. Okay. 
have only write two similar triangles. If you are in paper, that is write like if the triangle is x y z and p q r. So you have to take x y z and p q r. Okay, or d e f or x y z. Any of the name are given. M and P. Okay, so you have to take that triangle. Okay, not to write like a b c and p q r. If the triangle are mentioned, so you have to perform. You have to use that triangle. If not, so you can take yourself. You can take. Any of triangle or name A B C D E F A B C D Q R A B C X Y Z. It depends on you, and you have to make sure you have to perform like this first. Given, then do two, then figure. In figure, you have to write anything. Only your figure in the center of your paper. Okay, then prove. Here, six point eight. Do that in a right angle. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. So first of all, you are given that right angle. Okay. So we take ABC is a right angle. If that angle B is equal to ninety, or you can write that is in triangle ABC, comma angle B is equal to ninety. Both are true. Okay. So, and we have to prove what the square of the hypotenuse that is in triangle ABC that is square hypotenuse is AC square is equal to the sum of square of other two sides that is other two sides AB and BC sum in summation AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square or you can write like AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square both are True. Okay, here the figure triangle ABC in that B is a triangle, and I draw here a triangle that is BD perpendicular to AC and lies on B lies on AC. Draw BD perpendicular to AC such that B lies on AC means on a single line. ABC are on single line only. So we know that AC is equal to full is equal to Part AD plus BC. We already know in chapter number five. This is AC is equal to AD plus BC in of ninth standard. Okay, AC is equal to AD plus BC. That is number one. Now triangle ABD similar to triangle ABC using the theorem six point seven. Theorem six point seven is geometric linear. In that, if we draw the rectangle, then we make a two part of one triangle. Right, that okay. That is the word right for ABC. I draw here a right BD, so it make a two part. First ABD, another one BDC. So it shows that half is similar to full. This half portion is similar to full portion, or this half portion is similar to full portion. So we take here first half, this one, half uh, portion of triangle ABD is. Similar to ABC. Now AD, half portion AD, half AD. First two AD, first AD. Yeah. Side AD on AD and full AD on full AC. Okay. Now cross multiplication. AD into AD, AD square, AD into AC. Number two. Now here I take the first part. Of triangle. Now again, take the second part. Now try the second ABC. Similarly, triangle ABC comes on similar to ABC. So full BC upon AC, CD upon BC. Okay, or BC upon BC. Here I write BC or CD. Both are same. Change BC. If you write CD, then it's okay. Okay, BC into BC, BC square, AC into BC or BC into is three. Now I need summation of this two side. So adding of this two equation to add three, adding equation to add three, so we get AD square plus BC square is equal to AD into AC plus BC into AC. Now we have AC form. Left AD plus BC. AD plus BC. Now AD plus BC is equal to what? AC. Using equation one, so I put here AC. AC into AC. 
AC square. So we prove that AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Okay, that is the first three line we proved. Okay, now its other name is Pythagoras theorem. Also in your examination, like questions like show that Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so you want to make any of triangle ABC, DEF, PQR, XY, Z. Okay, or this three line are written in the simplest form, so you get easily your D1 and D2. Okay, if triangle ABC is right angle in the B90, then prove that AC square is equal to B square plus B C. Okay, that is a three way to pass. Okay, this here is most most. And many times it has in examination. Okay, so but in that there is a many changes are there. Okay, if your ABC is the right angle, then angle A is equal to 90, so your hypotenuse will be changed. If angle C is equal to 90, then hypotenuse change. So here change like this. If instead of ABC it has PQR, XYZ, DEF, so your hypotenuse continuously change in that. Okay, so that is a, a three way pass or here many times, many triangles to angle A and any of three vertices it takes 90 degrees and hypotenuse will be changed, side will be changed. So you have to understand this thing and then after you have to make a triangle. Okay, it's totally depend on your question. There is three way pass, first line. And Pythagoras only write Pythagoras theorem. If you write, then you make any of vertices. Okay, we see it. It depends on you. If ask like this, you have to prove like this. Okay. Here is this point now. In a triangle, if the square of one side is equal to the sum of square of other uh, two sides. Then prove that the angle opposite first side is a right angle. Okay? Or this theorem is known as converse of Pythagoras theorem. In Pythagoras theorem, there is a triangle and angle P is equal to 90 is given and we have to prove hypotenuse square is equal to other summation of other two side square. That is AC square is equal to AB square plus PC square. Converse means reverse. It means if in Pythagoras there is a two proof become given and given become proof. Okay, so we are given in triangle ABC. This is square is equal to B square plus this is square and two proof. Angle B is equal to 90. Okay, that we have to prove. It's known as converse of Pythagoras theorem. Other than or in written form, in simplest form, in triangle ABC, AC square is equal to B square plus this is square. Then prove that angle B is equal to Nine. Okay, there is a three way pass or in last there is a change already I told you that is ABC instead of ABC, PQR, XYZ, DEF, MNP. Okay, vertices will be changed. There is a figure. Okay, ABC and triangle, ABC and triangle, PQR. We have angle P become 90. So consider PQR. Okay, this figure is already we draw. But there is construct, so you have to construct it. Okay? But you have what to do? If that there is a both figures will be same. If you draw anything 5 centimeters, so B Q become 5, B C also 5, A C 5, or 4, you can vary the centimeter in place of the other side. But if A B and P Q are same, B C and Q are same, A C and P are the same. Okay, you have to draw. Like this. So construct triangle PQR right angle AQ such that PQ is equal to AQ and QR is equal to PC. In that, say that you have to draw like this triangle that the measure of these two sides will be same. And angle Q is equal to 90. Here, angle Q is 90. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we can write PR square is equal to PQ square plus. Q R square. Now, in construct that is PQ is equal to AB and QR is equal to BC by construction. Equation number 1. In given, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square already given. We number 2 from 1 and 2, both the right hand side same. So we can write PR square is equal to AC square or AC square is equal to PR square. Taking square on both sides, so square cut, AC is equal to PR. Number 3. 
Now, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, that is, AB is equal to P by constructs here. BC is equal to QR by constructs. And AC is equal to PR. We have been proven. See, question 3. So, all three sides are equal. So, by S, S, S criteria, the triangle becomes congruent. So, we already learned this thing in now standard 9, there are 30 right by CPCP, conference part of congruent triangle. You can write things, okay? But here, triangle ABC conference, triangle PQR, and here we know that triangle angle Q is 90. So if the triangle is congruent, then other angles are also same. So here, angle is 90. So B also 90. Angle Q is equal to 90 by construction. Therefore, angle P is equal to also 90. We have to prove it. Students, make sure and repeat for you. You have to write like this. D1, then 2, 2. Figure, in figure here. Don't want to write anything. Okay, only figure are in your page. In left hand side and right hand side, right hand side always blank. Okay, and proof. These four theorems are the most handy theorems for you. So you have to learn it. And I give it to you if you uh, homework on that in this theorem. Okay, I will give you in group. So you have to learn like this and I will take a taste of this theorem also. So prepare all this theorem, theorem 6 in your textbook that is 6.1 and 6.6, 6.8 6 and 6.9. You have to learn all this theorem. If you have any doubt, you can ask me this. And till uh, previous year, this four, any of four, any of one will be asked in your examination, okay? Or four marks.